What comes to mind when you think of a hippopotamus, perhaps a large, round creature lazily wallowing in a river? Deep within the waterways of Africa, the hippopotamus carves out its existence, a unique aquatic mammal unlike any other. Belonging to the hippopotamus genus, this hefty creature is an essential piece in the ecological puzzle of the regions it calls home. The general perception paints the hippo as a tranquil river dweller, basking in the sun and taking leisurely swims. Yet, this is only a fragment of the story. Hippopotamuses are known to live in groups, or pods, made up primarily of females and their young, with males often living on the outskirts or leading solitary lives. These pods serve as a protective shield, a network of support, and a parental care system. However, there's more to these creatures than their peaceful riverine lifestyle suggests. It's a tale of aggression and gentleness, a fascinating blend of behaviors that shape their interactions with their environment and their fellow creatures. But there is more to these creatures than meets the eye. Let's delve a little deeper. Hippos, much like us humans, value their communities. These river giants often gather in groups known as pods, usually composed of females and their young ones. The males, however, prefer to keep their distance, often seen on the fringes of these pods or leading solitary lives. Interestingly, these pods aren't just for show. They play a significant role in the life of a hippopotamus. You see, a pod serves as a fortress of protection, providing safety from predators for its members. But it's not just about defense. These pods also foster a nurturing environment, especially for the newborns. The young ones under the care of their mothers and the watchful eyes of the group learn the ways of their world. While these communities offer protection and support, they also trigger the protective instincts of these gentle giants. You see, when it comes to their pods, hippos stand as vigilant guardians, ready to protect their own at a moment's notice. When it comes to protecting their own, hippos can turn from gentle giants into fierce protectors. This change in demeanor usually takes place when they or their group are perceived to be under threat. Now, imagine the tranquil surface of the water being disturbed as a hippo leaps in, a display of strength and territorial assertion. This action is often accompanied by the opening of their large mouths, a warning signal that is as impressive as it is intimidating. And let's not forget about the loud warning sounds they emit. These vocalizations echo across the water, serving as a clear message to any potential threats that they've strayed too close to the family. Despite their calm and often gentle nature, hippos are not to be underestimated when they sense danger. They are, after all, one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. However, this aggression is not the only side of the hippo's behavior. Despite their reputation, hippos are not always the aggressive beasts they are made out to be. There's a softer side to these giants, evident in their social interactions. They engage in communal swimming, body contact, and tender relationships with their offspring. These gentle creatures also play a critical role in the ecosystem, interacting harmoniously with other animals. They contribute to the balance and biodiversity, ensuring the richness of nature is upheld. This gentleness, however, needs to be nurtured and protected. The conservation of these gentle giants is a responsibility we all share. We must prioritize protecting their aquatic habitats, the rivers and lakes they call home. Managing human activities in these areas is crucial to prevent harmful encounters. Let's raise awareness about the importance of these magnificent creatures and their role in maintaining ecological balance and biodiversity. Implementing stringent hunting regulations is also key. By understanding and respecting the behavior and needs of the hippopotamus, we can ensure their survival and the balance of our shared ecosystem.